Hi, I'm Shasha, a YouTuber from Taiwan, and this is Shasha Unpacks. Hello there, it's Shasha again. As the effects of climate change continue to worsen, tackling environmental issues have become the world's top priority. Most recently, countries across the globe have agreed on a shared goal to reach zero emissions by 2050. Today's topic is the bike share service in Taiwan, which is a shining example of the country's efforts to cut emissions while improving local public transport capacity. U-Bike is regarded as the world's best bike share service. Operating smoothly and efficiently, many countries see it as the exemplar for their bike share systems. Curious about what makes U-Bike such a great success? Let's dive in. To start off with the basics, U-Bike is currently available in nine major cities in Taiwan, including Taipei, New Taipei City, Taichung, and Kaohsiung. By 2020, Taiwan had a total of 2,915 U-Bike stations, servicing 65,156 bikes. Now, the overall numbers of trips made on U-Bike had exceeded 570 million. But how exactly did U-Bike make it? Originally, U-Bike was only launched in Taipei, making it the world's 100th city to have a bike share system. Despite being later to the game than other countries, Taiwan's U-Bike soon came out on top. On average, each U-Bike bicycle serves 12 persons per day, which is about two to three times more than shared bikes in New York, London, and Paris. What's more, even with such high usage, it has an average 97% in user satisfaction. For years after U-Bike was rolled out, its annual revenue reached over 3.1 million US dollars and it started to make a profit. Since then, 15% of U-Bike's profits have been able to flow back into the city's government's budget for infrastructure development. U-Bike station-based design cleverly solved the issues commonly seen across bike share services, such as bikes going missing, illegal parking, and abandoned bikes. Of course, all of this was not achieved overnight. U-Bike was first developed and operated by the Taipei city government in partnership with the Giant Group, parent company of the world-famous bike manufacturer Giant. The U-Bike bicycle underwent a meticulous development and testing process before its official launch in 2012. Featuring the same high quality of giant bikes, the U-Bike has three gears, adjustable seat height, and wheels suitable for all heights and sizes. To give you an idea just how well designed these bikes are, someone once cycled a U-Bike up to 3,200 meters above sea level on a trip 250 kilometers on, but try not to do so. In addition, U-Bike's payment method is quick and easy. Users rent bikes by simply tapping the sensor with an easy card. Plus, users can get discounts when they transfer to other modes of public transport. During its development phase, the U-Bike team traveled to one of the major bike-friendly cities, Paris, to understand the common bike-sharing pain points. What they found was that there were core issues for both the users and the operations team. For users, bikes broke down frequently or there were often not enough bikes available. From the operation point of view, however, it's hard to carry out the required maintenance while keeping costs under control. So U-Bike came up with a different process to ensure maintenance efficiency. U-Bike adopted the station-based design allowing easier bike management, availability tracking, and maintenance. A professional team also inspects each bike at least once every other week. By the way, if you see U-Bike seats turned backwards, it's not some kind of prank. It's actually how users and U-Bike staff communicate that a bike isn't working properly. It tells the team that the bike needs fixing while informing users that it's currently unavailable. The operations team also utilizes big data to solve supply and demand issues. Through real-time monitoring, the operations team can respond to bike demands of every single station 24-7. Users can also check bike and station space availability on the U-Bike app before renting and returning to avoid unnecessary hassle. 
Despite constant optimizations, the last mile problem still remains unresolved a decade into U-Bike's existence. Many people rely on U-Bike to reach their final destinations, given that MRT and bus routes are limited. However, the density of U-Bike stations isn't high enough. Most people still have a while to walk home after returning the bike. To bridge this gap, U-Bike 2.0 was launched in 2020. Instead of the traditional wire-based setup that takes up more space, U-Bike 2.0 docks use solar panels for electricity and building mobile telecom for data transmission. As U-Bike 2.0 is more compact, it can scale to expand service coverage. Currently, U-Bike docks in a number of cities have been upgraded, bringing U-Bike towards optimal efficiency. Now that you know more about U-Bike, next time you're in Taiwan, be sure to enjoy the country's convenience with one of these bikes.